students once again welcome to bhulanath academy in this video students we are going to see the question what is the relationship between molar solubility that we are going to see we are going to represent with capital s molar solubility we are showing with capital s okay students and the solubility product solubility product that is ksp solubility product sp that is solubility product for a salt given we have the three salts are given students first one is silver chromate Second is calcium phosphate and third is chromium hydroxide. We are students. We have to find the relations between molar solubility capital S and KSP. Understanding what is the relation in these three salts that we are going to see. So students, first students we are going to see the relationship of capital S and KSP in silver chromate. So students, silver chromate students Ag two Cr O four. Okay students, this is silver chromate students. This is the salt students when it dissolve in students in aqueous state students it will gives you silver plus because it is how many silver two so it will gives you two silver ketans and one chromate anion you will get understanding two types of ions we are getting students here ketan and this is what anion okay students this is you will get in aqueous state understanding students so this is the reversible students they will combine again they will provide the salt so here students if you want to find the relationship between capital s and ksp you should know the coefficient of this ketan that we are showing with that is we are showing with capital x small x here it is how many students two the coefficient of silver ketan is how much so two here students here chromate if nothing is there you have to consider as a one so here students you will find y will be one understanding so this is the ketan coefficient this is anion coefficient understanding students now since students you know the formula for k ESP solubility product formula students you should know this formula with without formula you can't find the relation between capital S and KSP okay students KSP students you know x raised to x into y raised to y into s now you have to add the coefficient x plus y this formula you, you should know now students put the value students x value is what two raised to two into y is nothing but one raised to one and s will be as it is and x plus one that is two plus one Okay, students. Now, students, here when you solve two raised to two will be four into one into s raised to that it will be three. Four into one will be four into s cube. Okay, students. Now, students, you can say KSP is equals to four times x cube. Now, you can say KSP solubility product equals four times s cube. Okay, students. Now, you can also write students vice versa. Therefore, you can also say four s cube is also equals to KSP. Okay, students. What will be the value of yes, students? So x cube is also equals to KSP divided by four. This four will come on this side. Now, what will be the yes, students? When this cube will go on this side, it will becomes, it will take the this sign. This will becomes cube root of KSP upon four. Okay, students. This cube root you can also write, students. KSP upon four. This cube root, students, you can write like this also. So this is the relation, students. We have got. Between the solubility and the solubility product, understanding students. Now students, we are going to see the second relation. In second salt students, we have you know the salt that is you have calcium hydroxide Ca3 and PO4 twice. So this is the salt students. In aqueous situation, it will gives you how many calcium students three. So you will get three calcium ketans, calcium two plus aqueous. Now here how many phosphate students you have two phosphate. You are getting two phosphate anion. PO4 two minus understanding students in aqueous state you are getting now here again students here that you have x will be two coefficient of phosphate here it is what y that is equals to two once you got the value of coefficient students ketans and ions since also now you should know since you know students solubility product is equals to x raised to x into y raised to y into yes that is solubility raised to x plus y understanding without this formula students it is very difficult to find the relation. So now just put the value students. X is nothing but two raised to two into y is nothing but students. No, here students. Sorry, here x equals to three. Okay students. So here three raised to three. Okay students. This is three raised to three. This is three raised to three. Now y is nothing but students. Two raised to two, and yes, he will becomes three plus two. Okay students. So this will be the students. So you have to see the coefficient is three. Here the coefficient of y is two. So three raised to three into two raised to two. Okay students. Now three raised to three will be three into three into three. That is three three is a nine. Nine threes are twenty-seven. Okay, students. Two raised to two will be four, and this is yes raised to five. 
okay students now 27 fours are students it is 108 four sevens are 28 and four twos are 8 plus eight. so this is the yes raised to 5 so this is the relation students ksp you can say it is equals to 108 into yes raised to 5 now what happens students since students now you know solubility product equals 108 into yes raised to 5 so therefore what will be the yes raised to 5 yes raised to 5 will be ksp solubility product divided by 108 okay students now what will be the students this yes so this 5 will go on this side fifth root it will become fifth root of this quantity students you can also write fifth root of ksp upon 108 this is nothing but students ksp solubility product divided by 108 this you can also write 1 upon 5 okay students so this is the relation in this salt students solubility and solubility product okay students third salt students you know chromium chromium hydroxide this is the formula of chromium hydroxide students and this is the salt students when it will dissociate in aqueous solution students here one chromium is there and three hydroxyl so students you will get chromium three plus aqueous plus you will get how many hydroxide three hydroxide three hydroxyl aqueous okay students now when you see the coefficient students if coefficient, coefficient is not there we have to take as a one so here you will find the x equals one and here the coefficient is equals to y equals to three okay students now since students you know this formula solubility product is always equals to x raised to x into y raised to y into yes raised to x plus y okay students so this is the relation students we have now put the value students x raised to x that is 1 raised to 1 into 3 raised to 3 into yes raised to 1 plus 3 okay students so 1 raised to 1 will be 1 3 raised to 3 will be 27 27 yes raised to 4 okay students so this is the value students solubility product is 27 times yes raised to 4 now students you can also write therefore you can also say 27 times yes raised to 4 is also equals to ksp vice versa students now what happens students therefore yes raised to 4 is also equals to ksp divided by 27 now what happens means this fourth power will go on this side it will becomes fourth root of this that is yes is equals to ksp divided by 27 fourth root okay, students this also you can write students ksp divided by 27 of 1 upon 4 times okay students so this is the relation students this way you have to write an examination in examination they are asking for two marks questions students so this way you have to find the relation between the solubility product and the solubility molar solubility understanding students if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you